Hello students. So I am back with another video. And this video is on our Vistas chapter that is the Tiger King. This is very important chapter. But don't worry this is very easy chapter also. So let's start this chapter. First of all this Tiger King. It's written by Kalki. This is the pen name Kalki. Full name of this writer is Kalki Krishnamurti. And he was a Tamil writer. Tamil writer, journalist, poet. Means he had that, you know, writing we can say in his blood. His way of writing was writing stories for the masses means he used very simple language in the stories but he was always giving very grand message very serious message he was always giving and he worked as a critic also not only he was a writer he was a very very you know talented critic he wrote this is the short story he wrote near about 120 short stories and beautiful short stories and he wrote 10 novelettes also. He wrote 3 historical romances also. So he was that kind of writer. And this our present story Tiger King is also one of the most beautiful stories. And one of the most interesting stories. And one of the most important chapter for you for both. So let's start. Now when we start this story. The first initial paragraph is just talking about different names because sometimes when you read first paragraph you get confused that what are these new names we have never read what kind of you know words these are so don't worry don't think this story is very very you know difficult story and you are not going to you know understand it it's not like that this first paragraph is about different names which were fondly given to this king means naturally whenever a child is born family members they give different names okay just to show love so it was just a pouring of love on this prince when he was born he was given different names okay different times different people different names and ultimately he became famous as tiger king so let's start the story the maharaja of pratiban puram so this you should remember spelling also learn it okay so that if you need to write you know this word of Pratiban Puram in your answer you should know the correct spelling. The Maharaja of Pratiban Puram is the hero of the story. He may be identified as His Highness Jamedar General. This is one of the name means he was you know this name was Jamedar General and then Khaledar Major this was another name Sa Sata Vyagra Samhari this is another name Maharaja Diraj, Viswa Bhuvana Samrat, another name. Sir Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur, another name for the same king. And then MAD, ACTC or CRCK. So all these were the names, means full form, MAD, some full form was there. So this king was having so many names. Means everybody loved him and that's why they gave their different names. But this name is often shortened to the Tiger King. But in the end, he became famous with his name Tiger King. I have come to I have come forward to tell you why he came to be known as Tiger King. Now here you will see a different style. Last year you have read Ranga's marriage also in class eleventh. And there also you might have seen this style of you know writing. This is a particular style where the writer sometime they, they directly talk to the readers. In that chapter also, if you remember, okay, sometime the narrator would be talking to the readers. Here also, this narrator Kalki is talking to the reader first of all. And he says, I have come forward to tell you why he came to be known as Tiger King. So narrator says, I have come here, means I have written this story because I want to tell you the reason why this king got the name uh, Tiger King. I have no intention of pretending to advance only to end in a strategic withdrawal. Strategic withdrawal means th like that he had uh, means he is having some plan and he has already thought that this way he will suddenly he will say that okay this is the end of the story. He says no. 
it's not that I will start the story and suddenly I will say, okay, the story is over. He says, no, this is not my plan. I don't want to just end the story abruptly or I'm not in a hurry. Even the threat of a Stuka bomber will not throw me off track. Stuka bomber, actually, this is name of one helicopter, that bomber helicopter. And at the time of World War, people were afraid, nations were afraid of this kind of helicopter, where the helicopter is having bombs and dropping the bombs here and there. But narrator says, don't worry, I am not even afraid of that Stuka bomber. Means if somebody says that if you tell the story in detail, if you go further in the story, okay, you will be killed or the bomb will be dropped on you. He says, no, I am not worried about that because I am going to tell the whole story. The Stuka, if it likes, can beat a hasty retreat from my story. Rather on the other side, he said, I am not afraid of Stuka bomber. But Stuka Bomber, if he is afraid of me, Stuka Bomber can go from here, go from the scene because I am not going to withdraw myself. I am going to tell the story in detail. Right at the start, it is imperative to disclose a matter of virtual imp uh, vital importance. It is imperative. He says, I feel this becomes necessary that I first of all tell certain things which are really very, very vital means which is which is very very important about tiger king everyone who reads of him will experience the natural desire to meet a man of his indomitable courage face to face he says first of all i must tell you that when you read the story about this king about this tiger king and then you will get to know that this tiger king was very very brave and because of that bravery while reading the story you would definitely would like to meet that king face to face. Means you will be so impressed. Okay. But he says, as Bharat said to Ram about Dashrat, the tiger king has reached that final abode of all living creatures. Now he says, but let me tell you, Bharat told something to Ram about Dashrat. And if you remember that story, Ram was in jungle exile okay and Bharat had gone to tell Ram that Dashrat is now no more okay Dashrat could not bear the separation from Lord Ram and that's why he died and Bharat had gone to break this news to elder brother Ram in jungle and he says this is the same thing I am going to tell that here also our king also is now no more in other words the tiger king is dead he says simply speaking the tiger king is dead. He is no more. The manner of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest. Now this becomes your first important question. Means from here, you should now uh, keep on marking certain important things. So first thing he says, let me tell you the man, man, matter of that extraordinary interest. Okay, and what is that? That the manner he died. He says he died. And this death was not ordinary death. It can be re re revealed only at the end of the tale. But he says how he died. It is interesting how he died. But I am not going to tell the details of his death right now. He says right now I am not going to break the news how he died. It can be revealed only at the end of the tale. The most fantastic aspect of his demise was that as soon as he was born, Astrologers had foretold that one day the tiger king would actually have to die. So what happened? When he was born, the king, he asked the astrologers to come and read the stars of the future king. Okay. He invited some astrologers, good astrologers, and he told that now you read the stars of my son and tell something about the future of my son. The child will grow up to become the warrior of warriors, hero of heroes, champion of champions. But now these astrologers, they read, they calculated something and then they said, see, we have seen that your child is really brave king. He will become very, very brave king. He will be the champion of champions. He will be the hero of heroes. Okay, he will be the warrior of warriors. He will become literally that brave king. But, and then they stopped with this but. They bit their lips and swallowed hard, means they could not save further. 
they bit their lips and swallowed swallowed because they wanted to say means it means they wanted to say something but they were stopping themselves from saying it further when compelled to continue the astrologers came out with it but king also noticed that they had stopped with this but maybe they wanted to say more but they are stopping themselves that's why king said no no whatever it is you please don't hide tell me all the things then astrologers told what they told this is a secret which should not be revealed at all and yet we are forced to speak out now they said first of all this thing is should remain a secret should have remained the secret but because you are the king and you are ordering us to reveal the secret and we can't deny and that's why we are revealing the secret and what was that the child born under this star will one day have to meet its death and they said the secret is that the child who is born under this star they calculated something it means that he will meet his death at that very moment a great miracle took place when he when these astrologers they said that he will meet his death at that time only one miracle happened and what was that an astonishing phrase emerged from the lips of the 10 day old jilani jang jang bahadur it means this prince was first name which was given to this prince it was jilani jang jang bahadur and at that time when the king had asked these astrologers to come and read the stars and tell something about the future at that time this prince was just 10 day old child okay so what happened suddenly this 10 day old child whose name was jang jang uh, jilani uh, jilani jang jang bahadur he suddenly spoke 10 day old child spoke and what he said oh wise prophets first of all these words came and astrologers they started looking here and there this is whose voice okay everyone stood transfixed in stupefaction means they were surprised they were transfixed their eyes were fixed oh my god who said this word because we didn't say anything king is also in front of us king also didn't say anything then this was whose voice they looked wildly at each other and blinked oh my god it was who oh wise prophets it was i who spoke then again the same voice came and this time this voice said oh wise prophets you all are very intelligent prophets who prophesy who tell the future it's me who is speaking to you and then they saw it was just 10 day old boy who was speaking these words this time there were no grounds for doubt it was the infant born just 10 days ago who had enunciated the words so clearly enunciated means spoken now they saw that it was this 10 day old boy only who had spoken these words and words also so clearly he had spoken the chief astrologer took off his spectacles and gazed intently at the baby now he started looking closely at the baby that how can this be possible this 10 day old child is speaking all those who are born will one day have to die we don't need your predictions to know that there would be some sense in it if you could tell us the manner of that death now this child furthermore he so, said what he said when he saw this astrologer were looking at him he said see everybody who is born in this world they all will die one day so if you tell my father that i will die one day this is not the prediction because this is natural thing we all are mortal being if you really could calculate something and if you really can some tell something about my future then tell the manner in which i am going to die okay then only we can say that yes you have told something but if you are telling that i will die one day no need to tell we all are to die the royal infant uttered these words in his little squeaky voice squeaky means which is not very clear because this is very you know child voice infant voice the chief astrologer placed his finger on his nose in wonder chief astrologer he was still not able to digest what had come a baby barely 10 days old opens its lips in speech not only that it also raises intelligent questions incredible they were still not able to digest that how can this be possible 
that this 10 day old boy is speaking and it's not only speaking he is putting very intelligent question rather like the bulletins issued by the war office than facts means this is su such incredible thing that sometime the facts become incredible okay but then sometime bulletins which are issued they are more incredible than the facts. Facts are always incredible. And then sometimes the, the, the bulletins which are issued, they become more incredible that you are not able to digest those. But here it was above all. This small child, he had put very intelligent question. The chief astrologer took his fingers off his nose and fixed his eyes upon the little prince. Because this prince had asked this question. So that's why now he answered. He said the prince was born in the hour of bull. Now you can underline this. This is what the astrologer said. They said that this prince, after our calculation, we got to know that this prince is born in the hour of bull. The bull and the tiger are enemies. Therefore, death comes from the tiger. He explained. So now this is the manner he this these astrologer told that the prince would die. They said that he is born under the in the hour of bull and bull and tigers they are enemies and that's why the chances are that he would die because of some tiger means tiger would become the cause of the death of this prince you may think that crown prince Jang Jang Bahadur was thrown into a quake when he heard the word tiger now again narrator is talking to the reader he says, now you must be thinking that after listening to this, that this tiger would become the cause of the death of the prince and you think this 10 day old prince, he started shivering. No, this did not happen with the word tiger. That was exactly that did not happen. As soon as he heard it pronounced, the crown prince gave a deep growl. Terrifying words emerged from his lips. Let tigers beware. Now he said, it's not that he was afraid. Rather, now in a growling voice he said, then let the tigers beware. I have taken birth. Now tigers should be afraid of me. I am not afraid of tiger. This account is only a rumor right in Pratibandpuram. But with hindsight, we may conclude it was based on some truth. He says, now we do not know how much truth is there in this prophecy. Whether this thing happened or not in the palace. That astrologers came and this 10 day old boy spoke. Or then the astrologers answered to this 10 day old boy he says maybe this could be a rumor only but maybe it can't be total rumor why because there must be some truth otherwise this kind of story would not have come from the palace i think we should stop here only okay next video we will start with the second part of this chapter this is an interesting story keep on underlining when i'm whenever you are you know listening to this uh, video and Keep on writing the meanings also. Keep on writing important points also. Then only you will be able to prepare your chapter in a, in a thorough manner. So all the best. Keep studying for the half yearly now because half yearly is coming. Okay, next portion we will do in the next video. Thank you.